All right, so today I want to talk about paths. Paths in the terminal, paths in web pages with CSS, with HTML, with JavaScript, paths when you push things up to GitHub and you're trying to run them through GitHub pages. So in all these different instances, it's important to understand what different relative paths mean and the characters that you can type in those paths. So I have this simple web page here and I've got four images that I'm trying to load and I'm going to use different paths for those. I'm going to use JavaScript to load some images. I'm going to use CSS to load some images. And then we're going to push this up onto GitHub and see how that runs. So first of all, I'm in my terminal here and my folder that I'm in is called paths. That's this one right here. And inside there, I have my project folder. This is where everything is located. Now my project folder, I've turned this into a GitHub repo so that I can push it up and it's sitting there on GitHub right now. So this version of it is up, you can see here, github.io. So this is GitHub pages that's hosting it. And the project structure here is pretty much like my project structure here because I've created this extra folder. If I was just launching things from this folder alone, what would happen is live server, if I'm using the live server extension, when I launch this, if this is my project folder, if this is the one folder that I have open, it sees this as the root folder. So it's going to see that as the origin for my website. When I'm hosting on GitHub pages, it's like there's an extra level here. So this is GitHub and this is the folder for my repository. And then all my files are inside this folder. So the way I have it set up here with live server is the same way it would be if you were running on GitHub. So my paths, what are the different things I can type? Well, if I'm in this route and I want to go down one level into the repo folder, CD repo folder, there we go. Now I've moved into that folder and we can see that now I'm in the Git project itself. So I'm right here. We can CD into the image folder. Fair enough. Now, if I just type this, so CD, and then a name. What I'm saying is go from my current location into this. So try and look for a folder called this, change directory into that folder. Or another way we can do it is, let's say if I go back up to my uh, repo folder, so I'll cd dot dot slash means go to the parent directory. There we go. I could say cd slash image. So here and here, these are going to do the exact same thing. They take me into the image folder, but one of them, I'm just saying, here's the name of the thing that I'm going to go into. This is the folder that I'm looking for. Here, I'm saying this single dot represents my current folder. It represents this folder right here. So I'm going from repo folder into a folder called image. Does the same thing as this in a web page here, nothing in front of it. This means go from wherever the HTML file is that loaded you. So this HTML file, go from here into a folder called image to find this one. The second one dot slash image means go from the same folder that the HTML is in. The single dot means the current folder. So right here, repo folder, that's what that means dot dot slash means go up one level. So I can do either one with the dot or without to say from the current folder and up. And you can see here, CD two dots, no slash does the same thing as this. It takes me up one level because the two dots represents the parent folder. So it's like, it's like a shortcut to the parent folder. A single dot is the name for the current folder, two dots, is the parent folder. Now, when you do this, when you say cd slash, this is also a relative path, but the slash by itself at the beginning of a path means go to the root. So if I do that, that's where I am now. I am at the root of my hard drive or my solid state drive. This is the root of the entire system. If I list off everything inside of there, look, I'm not in this folder anymore. I'm gone somewhere completely different. 
this is the root of my storage. So one dot means current folder, two dots means parent folder, slash is go to the root, go to the highest up thing that you can. Now, when I'm in the terminal, that's the root of my storage drive. When I'm online, the slash means go to the origin right here. So whatever this first part is, that's the origin. That is the root, that first slash here. If I went all the way up to the start here, so above repo folder, that's what the starting with the slash means. So that's not going to work for this image. First and second one are going to work fine because I'm saying go from the HTML file, go from the current folder. This one says go to the root, which because of the way we have things set up, that's the paths folder. So that one fails. There is no image folder right here. If I did this, if I put image, nothing. It does not exist. There is no image folder at that location. Same thing here on this page on GitHub right here, relative to the origin root. There is no image folder right here. Get a 404 error. It doesn't exist. So we cannot start our paths with this. If we're loading this folder directly as our project folder, if that's what live server is launching, or if we're on GitHub pages, we can't do this. It's not going to work. Absolute paths are where you provide the entire URL, starting with the protocol. So you're providing the entire origin. You've got the port, the protocol, the domain, the whole thing is there. So that's why we get this one. Whether I'm on GitHub or I'm local, it works just fine. Now for the CSS and the HTML, let me close this. I'm loading, starting in my current folder. I'm going to go to the scripts folder to find app.js. There it is. Here's app.js. Now inside of here, every and any path that you use in JavaScript, these paths are relative to the page that loaded them. So this page is inside the repo folder inside of paths. So this is the location that all my paths are going to be relative to right here. So if I say dot slash image slash, uh, let's say puppy, say puppy dot weppy. And actually for a background image, we should say URL like this. There we go. So we have this URL relative to the HTML file, go to the image folder, or sorry, the folder containing the HTML file, repo folder, go to image, and then puppy. And there we have it. So the puppies are tiled in the background of the body. Now in the CSS, this one's different. With the CSS, paths are relative to the actual CSS file themselves. So let me uncomment this and inside of here, let's do the library file just to do a different one. So relative to the CSS, we have to go up one level to the repo folder. So out of CSS to the repo folder and then into images. So two slashes takes us up out of the CSS folder. Then we want to go into the image folder and then we'll get the library image. There we have it. And here is the library image stretched out over the main element. We've got the puppies tiled on the background. This is on the main. So there we have it. So this is parent folder. CSS is relative to the CSS file. JavaScript is relative to the HTML file that loaded it. HTML, obviously, relative to itself with these. And the one other exception to this is the base with the base value here. We're saying that this is the value to use for all relative links. So from repo folder, yeah, it's going to work. From repo folder, it's going to be the same thing. From there, go into this. From there, go into this. This one, 
still isn't working because this slash still wants to go to the root of the origin. So it still wants to go back up to here. But this gives you something that you can have all of your relative links, whether it's in the JavaScript or the HTML, they will all work relative to that value. All right, and that's it. That is paths. So if you have any questions about paths, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. I answer as many as I have time for. Um, the repo that I'm using for this, so I will push this up into this repo. So the link to this will be down in the description. You can download a copy of that and play around with the paths as much as you want till you're comfortable with all these different types of paths, the relative ones and the absolute ones. And as always, thanks for watching.